of time and really had to uh, get this thing done and be ready I wasn't able to show you how to glue a, a fitting I'm look I'm working right now with inch and a quarter fittings this is an inch and a quarter fitting right here and if you notice it's clean and so you want the surfaces to be fairly clean this is an inch and a quarter pipe and I'll show you how to clean it and then assemble it here's a an old fitting that I took out of one of the pumps and if you can see it's glued together very securely the only way to get this apart is cut it apart once this glue sets it's over this is fun stuff to work with it's also pretty wicked so <laughs> just be careful very very flammable all right this is purple primer if you look you can see the residue on the top of the can and you can see in some of the joints that I made the purple the purpose of the purple coloring is so when an inspector comes by he can look at the fittings and say yes you used primer now the professional plumbers will take the purple primer and dump it in their PVC cement and not use the primer well my joints never fail as long <laughs> As long as I remember to glue them, that's another thing. When, you, when you're when you making joints, be very slow and methodical and glue every joint one at a time and you don't miss any. So, let's glue this. Let me show you how this is done. Okay, here's the, uh, the glue. Now we're going to take this pipe. Well, first we're going to clean. I just go like this to get the excess liquid off. And there's, it's not dripping wet, but it's very, very saturated. And I make sure every little last piece of surface is cleaned with primer. And the purple makes it easy. So there you go. You got both surfaces clean. Now that, that 90 fitting is ready to go for whenever you want to glue it. So now I do that again. Wipe off the excess. Also, if you drip this purple, like let's say you're working over a hardwood floor, you're going to stain it because it, <laughs> it's a very good dye. All right, so one of the things I, here we, we go like this. Now, one of the things I want to point out is, you see the burrs on the inside of that? Some guys will let that go. I'll take my knife and I'll, of course, I'll, normally I'll do that before I glue. And before I primer and also I'll take and chamfer the edge just a little bit so it goes in the pipe so there's not like a burr that's gonna hang up when I go and put it in the pipe it's gonna go in there easier you see how it curled out of there that's nice all right here we go generally you don't touch the the primed surface once it's primed now we take our cement and we get some cement now this cement has a, it's at the very bottom of its can so it's about done it's, it should be dripping off of there but it's it's like I say it's about done so once again I cover every every little dot of surface a hundred percent not 99 you want a hundred percent coverage same thing with the mating part so then you go around and around and then I'll turn the pipe and go around and around again. Now I've got a hundred percent coverage. I know it. I, make sure you use the glued side. Then when you put these together, push them hard and hold them to a count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm, I've held hard the whole time. Now I can let go. If you let go too soon, that it may ooze apart. Now if I look in there, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm seated all the way at the bottom. This is a very good fitting. Notice the glue is all the way up into here, all the way around. There you go, there you have it. That is how you work with PVC. The trick is to make your cuts the proper length and design it. Uh, ahead of time not after the fact so this was designed ahead of time with all the valves and so forth and this was not very expensive 
The valves are nine bucks a piece. The, the plumbing, the pipes were about five bucks a piece. And I used three sticks of 10 feet, inch and a quarter pipe. These fittings were starting to get pricey. The whole job was probably no more than uh, uh, 50 or 60 bucks. Not including sump pumps. But now we're ready. Now we're ready for this mess. 